Hi, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day today, it really is. It's been a great energy here on the mountain. Uh, I did a video this morning when I went right up to the top of what is known as uh, another part of Mihas Mountain. And I did a, a live for, um, I think, Bitchu or, uh, yeah, Bitchu and Rumble. So that was uh, really good, I enjoyed that. And I also did an Instagram live as well, Talking Truth. Um, there's certain things you can say and certain things you can't as you all know if you want to know truth now It's not gonna happen here because they're taking everybody off, but there is um, My new account, please go to rumble and uh, bitch you and there's gonna be lots of uh, up-to-date Information about what's going on and what's happening in the world what you are never told by um, uh, uh, Ever seemingly dark system that is taking uh, control over everybody's mouth who wants to speak the truth but today we're going to talk about some amazing today we're going to talk about um the incense oils and um my kind of uh tools that i've worked with all of these years apart from like one or two or three of them that i recently made so it it, it will be interesting to talk about these things and also, it's it's good to know and it's good to remind ourselves of how important it is to keep the energy around you and within your property clear. And it's so important to keep that vibration high and it's so easy these days to fall into a cesspit of fear, worry, what ifs. So today might be a great day to have a, a kind of, I don't know, um, a refresher, Maybe that's the word. It's a refresher course again on um, the the tools that I've used as a healer for a decade and a half. So enjoy this uh, journey with me. I've got myself a coffee. Um, it's gone cold, but it doesn't matter. I'll just have a few sips. A nice organic organic coffee. Um, and yeah, ready to go, ladies. Are we all ready? Okay. So most of you already know. So it's a refresher course. Let's go through it one more time. As you can see behind me here, there are some um, lemons, not limes, lemons. Lemons have a unique ability. And I'm only speaking of lemons. Don't ask me about any other apples or oranges or bananas. Just this and just accept this as it is. Stop asking me lots of other questions. Just enjoy what I'm sharing with you, what I know about. Everything else I don't know about anything else. I just know what I'm sharing. That's the easiest way. Okay, so if you get a lemon and put the lemon next to your bed and you fall asleep and the next day the lemon's exactly like it is, then that's great. The following day, if you fall asleep again that night and then you wake up in the morning and the lemon's still the same, that's great. Keep checking your lemon. But every now and again, as you check your lemon through those days, if you ever see a lemon which starts to look as if it's going off, or if the lemon that you decide to put in different rooms start to go off, then that is normally, normally, not always, but normally, a really good indication that the room's energy needs to be lifted. And whatever's happening in that room might have been a little bit of negativity, even though you don't even know it sometimes. It generates from the ground, Mother Earth. There can be some negative energy around there. It could be you without knowing. It could be a partner, somebody came into the room. Anything, it's something needs to be cleansed in that room. So lemons are always all over. I mean, I could take you around now, but there's two there, there's two there. There's one over there, there's two over there. Do you know what? I'll show you, just so you know, I'm not winding you up. Two there, two there. Hang on. One there, one there, one there. <laughs> one there. Uh, this one's an old one, but I like to keep my old ones. And another one next to the bed there. So you can see I, I do practice what I preach. They're, all, they're in every room. Uh, and I'm very blessed because we have lemons um, in Spain very freely in the sense that I can just go down to my trees below and grab some. And somebody came yesterday who uh, was a surprise visitor, uh, was lovely to see, and left me some lemons too. So it's great to have them around the house. So lemons, try it, it works. So when the lemon does go off, and it will go off if your room's in bad energy, and if not, it's fine, brilliant, you don't need to do anything else. 
uh, when the lemons kind of gets older and older and older, then you just either keep it and let it go rock hard. <laughs> like these? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know why I keep them. I just, I just love them. I like, like it's just nice. I just like them. So <laughs> lots of lemons that are years old. So um, you can keep them till they go like that, or you can dig up a little hole in Mother Earth and and bury them and let Mother Earth uh, deal with it and heal uh, with the um, with the lemons. It's great. That's wonderful. Uh, eat them? No, don't eat them because if. For some reason there is a little bit of energy which is negativity gone into the lemon you don't really want to be eating a lemon with negative energy and um, it is proven that if there's a lot of negative energy and you uh, consume it through uh, a fruit or something like that and it does happen like with lemons and uh, rice um, I do know for a fact that people have had upset stomachs so it's kind of it, it does work, it really does. But anyway, you do what you will. That will be my suggestion. These are only suggestions. You can do what you want with it, okay? So, lemon, great thermometer for negative energy. What other thermometer would I use? I don't know. I just know lemons, so that's all I need. And it's worked for me for 15 years. Why would I need to do anything else when lemons work? So. I'm sticking with lemons because it works. <laughs> so that's it. That's the first part of the, um, yeah, limes, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know anything else other than what I've just told you. Everything else, I have no idea. It's better you don't ask me questions rather than just say, okay, I'll do what he says and give that a try. You know, that's the best way to do it rather than say, should I try this? Can I do this? Just, just do this and you'll see how unique, how amazing it actually works. So from there, we're going to try and figure out now, uh, I'm going to go through the oils and the incense of how I would work with them. Okay, so now I know the room uh, needs um, some good energy because uh, my lemon's gone a bit off, okay? So what I do then is I get sage, okay? And I put sage into a bowl and I burn the sage like crazy. So the whole of the room is literally fog, you can't see. You just literally can't see. That is how I sage. No other way. Oh, but can I use a stick? Doesn't work. What about if I just go around? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. This is the only way it works. Everything else might work and might work a little bit, but not to the degree of what I'm trying to help you do in your home and around you. So um, I've shown all the videos before about a big wooden bowl big wooden bowl if you follow that instruction and just do as I say you'll find that everything works out and you'll say oh I wish I didn't buy that metal bowl because it's burnt my hand because it was too hot that's right and I'm glad I didn't buy that porcelain because it cracked and uh, it shattered and it nearly cut my hand exactly I've been through all of this <laughs> so I'm, I'm giving you a decade and a half of all my mistakes to come into the point where this works so if you follow the instructions you won't be let down. So the wooden bowl, you should be looking for a type of wood which is a strong, solid wood, not like a soft wood. So pine, not so much, but a nice hardwood bowl, brilliant. So with a hardwood bowl, and the bigger the better, the smaller ones are more difficult because when you're blowing, for some reason, the air doesn't circulate as well. So if you go for a bigger bowl, it's better, so roughly about this big if you can, about that big. So the smaller bowls, uh, you can do it, but it's not the same. Um, so you put the sage inside and you light the sage. You make sure that when you light it, you have a stick extension of a lighter or else you'll burn your hand with a, a normal lighter because they're so small and you're trying to burn it, blow it and burn it and oh, oh, it's so hot. So extension, perfect. So when you have now blown at the sage and you're starting to see it's becoming more, um, the cinders are, are, are getting more burnt and burnt and there's more smoke coming, then all of a sudden you realize, okay, now we're, we're really in there. It takes a little bit of doing, but once you've done that and then it starts to smoke and you're blowing and the cinders are growing and growing and growing and it's getting more, ooh, brilliant. So my suggestion is always sage you first 
and your family. Anybody is in the room, come in, have a sage. Sit them down, get down on the floor and start blowing that wooden bowl into the wooden bowl and get that smoke going all over them. Doesn't matter if they're coughing, doesn't matter if they don't feel good, wear a mask, do whatever you want for that time. But if you want to heal and you want to feel better, then this, this is the process. Oh, but I've got a chest infection. Well, figure a way out, figure some out. But this is, this is something that works, okay? What other way works? Don't know. No idea. I don't know, so don't ask. This is the only way I've worked in all of these years with all my clients all over the world, and it worked always, every time. So I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna do that, and you bear with it. Oh, I don't like the smoke. Well, actually, it's really good for you, so can you bear with it? It's not as if I'm injecting you with something that's gonna stay with you for the rest of your life, right? Okay, it's just a bit of smoke. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, really bad. Yeah, much worse than, yeah, anyway, so. You're blowing away and you're spending roughly three to five minutes on each of your beautiful family members, partners, whoever, okay? Uh, yes, get the dogs out, get the animals out, and if not, find it somewhere where you can do it without the animals and without the fish bowl and stuff. So just find somewhere to do it, okay? This is for an individual person. But when you're doing that room, the way I'm saying this is because it makes sense that if the room needs cleaning, well, I'm gonna clean everybody else in the room at the same time. Perfect, I'm gonna clean myself at the same time. So this, my dear friends, is the jet wash of all jet washers for your negative energy, which is in and around you. So you're blowing away and it's, it's going all over them and then you get the next member of family and then you do that for three to five minutes. And when that's done, get them out of the room and then you can continue around the room, okay? And then you might even wanna continue in the next room and you might think, oh, you know what? I think I wanna search the whole house. Or you might think, no, this room's just enough. So you shut the doors, shut the windows as you keep them all shut because the whole point about this is the smoke is that what clears all the negative energy from every single objet d'art at all the carpets, all the walls, uh, and the energy in the room in that, that vast space. So when you've cleansed and cleared yourself after five minutes, three to five minutes, and the room now, you're blowing and blowing and blowing, and now it's like, oh my God, there's so much smoke, I can't see anything, good. When you are happy with, with the amount of smoke you've got in that room from top to bottom, because it needs to be filled all the room. Okay, the room's done now. You go out of the room and you shut the door. You go for a drink, take an hour off, go out, one hour and at the same time because you've done that cleansing you'll feel better you'll feel wow yeah i feel really good now and it will you will always feel better after a sage always guaranteed no matter what's wrong with you it doesn't matter what's up with you you sage you'll feel better illness sadness a spiritual attack whatever you think's happening to you you know um trust me trust me when i say this sage works so that's that done. Then, the following day, or well, actually when you come back in that hour, or two hours, you open all the doors and windows and that's it. Okay, it's done. The main work is done. But then the following day, you're thinking, okay, depending on what you're going through, how you're feeling, what your partner's feeling, what everybody's coming into the house, what they're doing, how they're feeling. Okay, so what I need to do on a daily basis from there is cleanse myself okay and this takes again only a few minutes of your day a time of your moments okay so only a few minutes so how i do this is this is my sacred uh, cleansing negative energy sticks that they are absolutely amazing uh, people hopefully will mention underneath here how amazing they are this is a lifelong mission of knowing the difference between what cleanses negative energy and what doesn't, these sticks do. So I created these and they also have Moldavite inside them too. So they're fantastic. Well, actually around them, these have Moldavite around them. Um, the awakening sticks have them actually inside. So they light really easily. And if you just wait a few seconds and then blow. And they give a good amount of smoke off for and only for 
your energy, aura, field, life force. So what you would do is you would just go around, again, three minutes, all over your body, around from your feet, your legs, up to your head, all around you for about three minutes, okay? And when you've done that, that's all you need to do. And then you put you put it out because they're not cheap. So you want to look after these sticks. So when you've done that, you just put it out like that. Check it, see if it's if there's no more smoke coming off it. Perfect. So you leave it then for the night. So that's how I would do it. If I'm going through a particularly stressful day because people are in here or I'm out dealing with a lot of stress, I go back to that halfway through the day. Again, I would cleanse myself with the negative energy sticks, okay? At night, before I go to bed, perfect, cleanse myself. So normally what I do is I have a shower, and then get out of the shower, dry myself off, and then cleanse myself with a stick, and then I have a great night's sleep. This is for the sticks at the moment. We'll go on to the oils in a minute. So now you can do that three times a day with those sticks. What I do then is through the day is I have these sticks and these are purposely made for once a week. So what I do is take one of my Paolo Santo sticks or sage sticks, depending if I want it more. So the, how I would normally do it is once I've done the sage, I don't need the sage sticks for a good few days. Okay, but I'd use the Paolo Santo sticks. The Paolo Santo sticks are used to just keep the energy in a good place and high vibration. If I feel that the place is starting to feel a little bit negative, I'll get the sage stick. And once a week, I light the sage stick. Okay, these are fantastic sage sticks, all handmade, not, not from India or... Um, China, these are handmade. Okay, so you can see how it burns. Okay, so it's light, but that is enough to put in, a, in your room and just put it in the room and let it do its job. Okay, just like that, okay? and it burns very slowly, nicely through the next hour or so. And um, that gives the room an added nice bonus through the week. So the following week, as long as you keep cleansing yourself through the week yourself, everything should be fine. And then you keep the room in good energy with these sticks and they work brilliant. So. Only once a week is needed unless something happens in that house. And if something happens negatively and it becomes really bad and really sad, then I would then revert straight back to sage again and then repeat the same thing over. Okay, so it's always there as a health um, cleanser for negative energy in and around you. That makes sense. It's perfect. What is the difference between the sage stick and the Paolo Santo stick? The Paolo Santo stick, if the energy is in good energy in the house, I put this, I put one of these on to just lighten the room and make it feel extra special in a sense that I can work better and harder. I can work faster in the sense of nothing stops me, slows me down. I'm more in tune with the spirit world. I'm more in tune with um, spirit coming forward because Paolo Santo has an amazing gift of bringing forward an energy that spirit can come straight into the room. That's why I always cleanse myself with the Paolo Santo sticks. So what's the difference between this and one of these sticks, which is partly Paolo Santo? The difference is this is only for the body and this one is for the room. So this is to keep the room at high vibration. So if you decide you want to do some meditation, if you decide you want to connect to spirit, if you decide you want to do something which is, you know, really creative, then I would like one of these on that day. 
If you're not doing anything creative, not that, but you want the energy to be high, then you just light one for one week, just one week. You only need to do it once a week in that room and that will be fine. Unless, and I've got to keep repeating this, unless something negative happens, okay? So, this one here, so cross that one there, you see? See how that one's going down as well, nice and steady? So you can see that the sage, it's not as, as much smoke as the Paolo Santo, but it still is enough for the room because sage is extremely powerful anyway. But again, it's not, these sticks are no good for doing a full cleansing. Forget it, it just won't work. This is just to keep the energy nice in the room. That's all, just to keep it at a good energy, okay? So, You've got to understand how they work. That's how I, these are my tools. So I'm trying to explain exactly how they, they're used for. So the long sticks are used for just keeping the energy okay, nice and good. The long sticks, these long sticks are used to cleanse your energy aura. So you become stronger and more powerful. And the sage is to clean, jet wash the place out, strip all the walls down, strip everything down, and we can start again. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Brilliant. So now we'll go on to the, the uh, physical body, the, the body that we can rub natural products on that actually makes a huge difference to your life, and it does. So I created three oils, and behind me, you'll see those three oils. One, two, three. Those three oils, are um, 15, 16 years old now, but the oils within them are over 62, 63 years old because when I first started with oils, I received my first jar of real healing oil from my first mentor who had worked with that oil for many, many, many years, at least 50 of those years. So all of that memory, all of those years, that, 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 I realized and found fascinating that these oils never run out and the memory in that oil always stays there. So I might go down from here to here when I'm putting them into the, the, the bottles when I sell them, but I've always got this and then I refill again. So it's always retains the memory of all of those working days, weeks, months, years that I put into them through my hands, through the healing work, through the crystals through all the things that we've added to these oils so I'm now going to go through them oils with you now so uh, randomly the three oils I'm just going to choose the first one of the th of uh, the eight oils healing oil okay so the healing oil I made the healing oil which was my first oil I made the healing oil for any client that would come in who was feeling really sad down and upset and I'd worked with this healing oil on many different levels but I found that I was working with this oil more and more with physical issues more physical so I thought I needed to uh, so I so basically this turned into more of a, a, a physical healing of, of uh, problems that people were having so I'd use this and people would say that my my physical issue which might have been a, a long-term migraine that never went away i would rub the oil on the person's forehead i'm actually going in the wrong direction here so i'm going to talk about myself now okay forget that forget what i used to do on my clients i go back to me and what i do with these oils and how i work with them better better sorry i was just going off and i sometimes go in a different direction so in a morning, in an afternoon, or in a night, I have my eight oils. I always have them. They're always somewhere around my eight oils, okay? They're always somewhere around. So I have my eight oils everywhere. I've actually got nine now, but eight, which focus on the eight. If I have a, a feeling of something in my body is starting to not feel well, like I have a kind of a back pain, which probably is nothing to do with back pain, I will take the healing oil and rub the healing oil on the back. If I have an issue with like, uh, I started to feel really heavy and my head is hurting, I'll take the healing oil and rub it on my forehead temples 
Uh, back of my neck is a great place to use the healing oil. Also, a great place when you're feeling unbalanced and you don't feel well, physically speaking, you feel a bit drained, you don't feel well. I rub on my pulses, back of the neck, again, base of the spine. This is a really good thing to do. Again, with this healing oil, by taking a few drops and breathing it through the nose, that's an amazing thing to do. When you breathe through the nose and blow out through the mouth, which is equally important, you are clearing toxins and you are breathing in Mother Earth and everything she holds in her plants, which has been extracted into these oils. Now, what are in these oils? There is a kind of base oil, which is now no nuts, it's all grapeseed, but they might be in the first three oils because when I first started, I loved almond oil. But then one of my clients said, um, oh, I, 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 I have a nut allergy. And I went, oh, maybe I shouldn't be using nut. Um, she used it and she was fine. But I still thought about it and thought, well, okay, I love almond oil, but why don't I look for another oil that then there is no allergies with at all? So then I started with aloe vera oil and jojoba and uh, lots of different ones. I tried different ones, arnica and lots of unusual, beautiful oils. And I was mixing in. And then I, I realized that grapeseed oil, I really enjoy grapeseed oil. I don't know why, I just like the energy of grapeseed oil. So I use that, so that's the base oil. And then I start to add certain beautiful plant extracts if they're flowers, whatever they are, which feels right. So this oil has changed over this decade and a half. It's changed by smell. And a lot of my clients will say, wow, it's a bit different this time. I say, yeah, because I'm going with the energy of the universe of what's happening right now. So sometimes it might not be the same smell because I decided that something needs extra needs to be added into this oil. And these oils, my last batch, I started adding a few different ones which I'd felt was a good idea and it's worked and they're working amazing. Partly in all my oils, I always have at least four or five or six bottles, little bottles worth of each oil. So basically each of the eight or nine oils holds the memory of every single oil because I always add the other eight oils into the oil. So that oil will receive that oil, that oil will receive that oil. They'll all receive a bit of everybody's oil. Just a bit, but enough that they retain a memory of all the other oils. So when you think, oh, I wish I had that oil. Well, actually you've got that oil in there, in all of them. So you're gonna be okay, whichever you decide to get. But predominantly what I did was then started to add uh, one to maybe 10 different extracts that worked in a certain way for the oil. So lavender, I love lavender, but I also added a few other different beautiful oils in there too. So predominantly of the past, I don't know, a year, this smells a lot of lavender, but the thing is with lavender, it's so strong that it retains its um, smell. And no matter what else I put in there, what other plant extracts of, of natural, organic essential oil, it will still retain that very smell. So the strongest smell always retains to the rest, so it dilutes the other smells out. But it's not really about the smell. It's about what's going into your nose. It's, it's about what's going into your skin and what it's, what's happening in the physical body. So the healing is good for physical. And I like to use it, like I said, on here, back here, here, but then if I've got a physical issue somewhere in my body, I will massage it where that place is, as well as try to attune to where that issue started. That's something else, but there's not a problem with you rubbing it on where your issue is. So you might have a tummy ache, so you'll rub it on your tummy, no problem. You might have a foot ache, or you might have cut yourself. If you cut yourself, you never rub the oils onto the open wound. But there's nothing wrong with rubbing it about this far away. So if this is my, my cut, if there's a cut, I'd rub it here all the way around and it'll penetrate and help heal that cut, okay? So this is amazing stuff. So the healing oil is my first ever oil I ever worked with and ever used. And from there, I went on to the next oil, which was called cleansing oil. 
The reason why is because I realized that when working with, with clients that people were uh, holding on to negative energy. So going back to me again, when I wake up in the morning, if I feel a bit negative and don't feel too good, again, I will take some out, squirt it in my hand and always rub it on my kidneys at the back. And the reason why is I realize that there's a lot of negative energy that holds into the back. I also will focus on my uh, heart and I'll rub some on the heart, rub some on my stomach because negative energy sits in places where fear is at. So if you live in fear of, say, the word, we use the word, but it's an energy, guilt because something's happened, then you'll be rubbing it on your heart because you feel guilty, somebody might have passed and you didn't give them a cuddle or you didn't say what you wanted to say or somebody left because maybe you did something wrong or something wasn't said. So any kind of guilt, I rub on my heart, this oil, and it cleanses that away and feels better. And it kind of doesn't just feel better, but then you always come to a point where you, you, you come to terms with whatever that guilt is and you answer the question and you, you actually clear and heal yourself from that suffering through the oil. It works, it really does. Again, if you've been attacked by somebody on an energetic level and they've said nasty things to you, yes, back is very important, but so is the stomach because your mind is, is racing and the unresolved files, because you don't know why this has happened and what could you have done and all of those thoughts run down into the stomach. So I rub on my stomach negative energy oil, which clears negative energy from my stomach. Also, I rub here, top of my head. Sometimes I throw up because if I've not said something that I wish I'd have said, rub it there, it cleanses that away. I rub behind my ears so I'm able to hear truth. So there's certain things that I like to do. Rub some here, helps me clear away any negativity that I see through the day, through my eyes of what I don't want to see what's happening in the world. So cleansing negative oil is amazing. If the room is negative after you've, after you've done your cleansing, get the oil and, and, and follow those procedures like I've just said with the negative energy oil, okay? works amazing amazing so always remember all my oils i always suggest taking three drops rubbing it in your hands either before or after you've placed it on your body and then breathe it through the nose breathe deep and then blow out slowly through the mouth and clear that away if you do it between five to twenty times it's perfect you don't need to count just do it until you feel better you'll feel uplifted very quickly and that again will clear the negative energy from within it works every time hope you're enjoying this <laughs> so the next oil i created was because everybody was like down and they wanted uh, something in their life to change and happen and uh, the life was really really uh depressed they were depressed and miserable and they were upset um and everything was sort of going wrong, blah, blah, blah. And um, like, oh, why, why don't I have any luck? Why is everything going wrong? And oh my God, I can't cope with this anymore. Okay. So then I created another oil, which was called Abundance. Now it wasn't Abundance for wealth, but it certainly did help. I don't know why, but it did. But I called it Abundance because I wanted people to feel better in every single way both physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually. So what, what kind of oil could I bring in abundance, abundance of happiness, abundance of I, I, even wealth? I even said it to people, Let's if you want an abundance wealth, then fine. But if you have inner peace, then everything else is gonna follow. Because if you've got inner peace, then you must have everything else to have inner peace. So let's say that the abundance you're looking for is inner peace. Once you've got that, everything else will follow. Everything else will be there. Or I, I used to say, well, you've probably got everything because now you've got inner peace. Because if you've got, if you haven't got everything, then you won't have inner peace. Because inner peace only comes when everything else is is made sense of. Everything else is fine. Everything else is accepted. So it's not abundance. Don't ever get me wrong. It's never about you know trying to make wealth. But I did notice a massive. Uh, amount of clients who would buy pyrite and um, a, an abundance oil and then a few weeks later a month something magical happened and I'm like wow okay 
maybe, maybe not. But for me, abundant soil was about bringing abundance into my life. So the abundant soil to me is always I rub on my heart. I want to bring abundance, abundance of love, uh, abundance of everything that's important. So I rub it on my, uh, like basically anywhere the abundant soil works. I tend to tell my customers to follow their instinct with abundance because you might feel you want it more because, you know, I, like I, one client, a uh, beautiful lady used to struggle because she lost her voice, she couldn't sing, she was an opera singer, so she'd rub it on her throat and then within three months she was singing opera again. So she got an abundance of what she wanted. Do you understand? So use your intuition of where to go with abundance. But again, always use the oil when, when um, rub it into your hand, breathe it in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth and then put it where you feel you need to put it, okay? So I like to use, uh, me personally, I like to use abundance oil when I'm being creative, when I'm wanting a good outcome. So if I've got an appointment somewhere and it's about maybe something good could happen and I want something good to happen for everybody as an outcome, not just for myself, but everything that's happening, I'll rub abundance oil on my heart. I'll rub it on my third eye. I'll rub it on my throat, by my ears. I'll just get that energy and breathe it in. So abundance oil. That was my third third oil and it's amazing um going back to um cleansing oil cleansing oil is predominantly paulo santo so i just received a new paulo santo through the post it's taken months about six months here it is the paulo santo oil let me tell you oh my god even with a cap off it is the most amazing oil in the world this has been made by an uh, authentic, genuine, respectful, all um, ethical, uh, and the way it's been taken, it's not been ripped or, or, or it's, this is once, like every six months, is this person who makes it for me. And it's done, it's not like machine, it's not like, you know, Japanese or Indian made, this is done authentic from a healer okay so this is the and i treasure it so you can see i'm down to here and it came last week because i've used it in the healing oil i've used it in the sacred oil as well as the moldavite oil so it's amazing in those oils okay so this is paulo santo it's the i said i said to them i am so happy this is the best i have ever ever had from you and they actually said you're right, Mark. It's the best we've ever made. And they're right. And it, this is gold dust. And I treat it as gold dust with my oils. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could talk about Paolo Santo for a week about the properties and, and the amazingness of what it does on a spiritual level. If you're a shaman, you already know. But I've worked with many shamans. I've worked with many seers, psychics, and uh, spiritual people who do magic. And Paolo Santo is always there with them. So I knew right at the beginning of my journey that there was something about Paolo Santo that I was interested in. So I made a lot of kind of experiments with working with it, using it with uh, different types of... Uh, I'd use the, the sticks first of all, then I'd break the sticks up and I was trying different methods with it until I came up with a beautiful stick and found a beautiful family who make them by hand. Uh, and this this village pick the 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 bushes that what fall to the ground, the, the sticks, the broken bits, and they don't cut the trees down. So, you know, people get often angry with me. It's not listen, I I, I I'm I do everything I can to make it as natural and organic and fair trade and not not raping of the land. That's with everything. Everybody who I speak to I do my best to say to them, where does it come from? How do you use it? Can I show me pictures? Where do you, and, and I, I'm, people really don't like me because I'm very pushy and they want that, well, we sh shouldn't, I, I, no, no, I wanna know. I wanna know, where do you get, where's them crystals dug from? Where do you get, where did you get? No, 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 I'm not interested otherwise. See you later, not interested. So I have to be 100% sure, whoever I'm working with, that they have the same ethical understanding of what I want. So yes, when people say, oh, crystals get raped from the ground, oh, Paolo Santos, but yeah, I know all of this. You think I don't know? Do you think you don't think I work and, 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 and I'm always one step ahead? Always one step ahead of you, always, because I'm trying to create something that is earth, I, I respect Mother Earth, I love her. 
So I would never disrespect her and just buy boxes and masses of stuff, never. So yes, I run out of a lot of things and it takes months to make something, but you know what? I don't care, I don't care as long as it's done in a right way. So, um, the abundance oil, well, it, it, it was, I was very keen into jasmine, right? And then I went from uh, jasmine mixed with ylang ylang. And then the more I was working with it, the more I realized I'd just gone out of um, the, the energy of jasmine and more into the energy of ylang ylang. And I've got to say, guys, I really like that for abundance. It really works well for me. And uh, I've never been let down by it. And it's probably one of the best sellers on my website. Uh, and, it, and people, like, you should see the messages that come back from people who said that they've been in living in uh, bad luck for 20 years, 30 years, and they used it and the luck just changed. So there is something in this beautiful, beautiful natural incense that that works this this essential oil that that works so well ylang ylang try it i know people talk about it's it's good for sexual and all that 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 no it's it's good for heightening something inside you that helps awaken the real um essence of life and and the abundance of life so yeah, it's not about wealth, but people do get it and have claimed very often that it's made a difference in their life. Maybe because you've changed. So from there, I went on to the new um, uh, oils that I wanted to make for many years. So I started on that journey. I'm just going to now go through all of them, I guess. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk about the uh, Moldavite, if that's okay with you, the Moldavite oil. Actually, no. Sacred oil was the next oil. Sacred oil happened when um, I was meditating and um, there was a, an energy of, of three that came together. And the three were, um, obviously, I, I'm always gonna go for Paolo Santo, but Sage felt really, really strong and frankincense. And, and, I, and I just saw it and felt it. And it was like, this is the Holy Trinity. This is the, this is the, you know, like joke, God in a bottle. This is, this is it. So I created that and I started adding, as I do to all of my oils, certain unique crystals that I've worked with for many years. So what you've got in here is, is 10 plus years of crystals that have been in there for 10 years. The reason why is because I work with a crystal and add abundance, I add healing, I add cleansing, I add sacred energy. So I worked with clients over all of those years. And when I got around my tree, which is this one, when I got around that tree and I'd spent hours and hours and hours, and when it got to the top, it would either then go to a client or it would go in my oils. So in my oils are over 10 years old, crystals that I've worked with and some of them have been worked with over 300 hours. So the energy of the healing, when I say worked with a crystal, what that meant was I take one individual crystal. So say I took this individual crystal and this would be at the side of my client who were going through heartache or going through um, a, a separation or lost a child or anything like that or wanted to feel happier and stronger. So I'd put this either on them, they'd hold it, or it'd be next to them. And I'd work on this energy that I'd pull forward from, anybody can do it, from the universe. And it'd go through my either head or my hand, and then it'd go through uh, my shoulders into my other hand, and then it'd blast the client. At the same time as that energy coming through, and not only it healing the client, but it was also being absorbed by the crystal. The crystal absorbs this beautiful healing work. I don't know why, but it does. It absorbs beautiful healing work and it stays in there as a memory. So you imagine after two or three or, or however many hundreds of hours I worked on each crystal on my client, it would then go into one of the oils. And that's how I work with them, even to this day. If I ever work with a, a crystal and I think, oh, this needs to go in this oil, I have this urge, it's called channeling. Most people just don't get it. 
but channeling means you get an urge without not even knowing why but i need to do that and you don't know why until after and then it makes sense okay that that's how i work it's called channeling and i'm i am a channeler in the sense that i just follow that instinct that gut feeling but i don't think about it so it's not like i regimentally made anything it just organically happened so all the things that i use were organic they all happened as just just by coincidence which we all know it's not coincidence it's spirit's helping hand so um sacred oil i then put it into this jar took all my other oils my other three oils and put them into this jar and then started with sage so i'd got organic sage and then I'd get, uh, I was looking, took me ages to look for where the real, um, and this is a, this is funny, you, you'll laugh, but do you know where the real frankincense goes? Take a wild guess. Yes, it goes to the Vatican. They get the best of the best. So I wanted to know where that came from. So I hunted it down and said, can I have frankincense from you? And they said, well, we can do you some. So I got frankincense from exactly where they want it, where it, where, where it goes to. So I'm not into religion, but I'm sure they know what's strong and what's powerful. So in the sacred oil, in this sacred oil, all I can tell you is that the stories from the moment it was used were, has been phenomenal. Again, another amazing seller and an amazing trinity of three oils that work in tandem in such a deep and profound way um sacred oil i i I've probably if you don't know who i am and you've never heard some of my stories i it took me two or three months before i was even ready to to start working with it but there was a day that this just happened i happened to do a healing session on somebody and i got this terrific pain in my back and all of a sudden i again channeled this like you you should go and get that oil the new oil and i'm like really okay then so i went to the new oil and i remember study her and i took some out and i rubbed some on where the pain was which wasn't a physical pain it was a it was negative energy and it had attached to my back i rubbed it on my i rubbed this oil on my back and i just stood there and waited and i kid you not the pain, that negative energy, moved from one place and it shifted to the other side. That was a profound moment to me that one day I'll write about because energy does move. Negative energy can move around the body and it surely did. So then I got some more oil and rubbed it there and within a matter of moments, it had disappeared and that was it. This oil is, I like making forecourt, this is the best oil I've ever made, ever. There's something about this oil. So yes, there's a cleansing oil, which is super amazing, but this is like, I don't, I can't explain, but it, it's got so many different forms of healing, of, of cleansing in this, that it is ultimately amazing for everything. So I was so super happy. I love all my other three oils, but this was like, wow. So we're stepped up now to 2020 where things are like hotting up and things are changing. Makes sense that this oil came out because it was helping people not only cleanse, but awaken because you can use this for meditation. You can use it for all sorts of deep kind of work, whether you're going into sound therapy or whatever. This oil is brilliant. Again, you would follow your instinct with this oil and use it where you want to go. Again, the, these points of the heart, the stomach, and the head is always vital when I'm working with this kind of oils. Always, it's vital to me. But there's also the back, always a good place to rub it, always when it's to do with cleansing. So that was the next one, really proud of that. And then Moldavite came because everybody was saying um, they would love Moldavite oil. And I'm saying, you know, one day I'll make a Moldavite oil. So what I did was I went to, um, uh, did I go to the Czech Republic or did I order? I might have ordered from my man from the Czech Republic and I said, I want some beautiful Moldavites and they're specially to go into an oil. So I waited for them to come and then I started making the Moldavite oil. Well, Paolo, Paolo Santo is always gonna be in my, in, in my work because Paolo Santo is the most spiritual 
cleansing and awakening oil there is in my world. So I knew my base oil was going to be Paolo Santo, but what I was going to also mix in there was going to be spiritual awakening oils, which matched with the energy of Moldavite. So I wanted it to be profound, not only with the Moldavites inside that I worked with and then put them inside, but I also really felt that it was important that we got to a high vibration. So I started feeling different uh, bottles of, of um, essentials, which is going to take me to a higher state of consciousness. So I was working on many different oils and I was trying different oils and I came to five very unusual oils that I realized were really powerful to help raise my vibration, consciousness, and to be able to just be free. So I mixed them in with the oils and I created this beautiful Moldavite oil. And then what I did was I put a little uh, sliver of Moldavite inside there. So there's a little piece of Moldavite in there as well. So I worked with about 500 pieces of Moldavite, little tiny pieces, and I put them in a pouch and I worked with them for about five, six weeks. And then I got them ready. And when they were ready, I thought, okay, now we're gonna put it together. I'd worked on the oil for a few months and and then where I thought, okay, I'll bottle them and let's see. So I take the bottle, I squeeze the, um, the 15 mil in and then take one piece of Moldavite, put it in there, hold the bottle for 10 minutes, five minutes, and then, okay, tap, it's done. And then I waited for a few days and then I went back to it and I purposely did uh, um, three things that day just to just see how, is this gonna work? So what I did is in the morning, I did meditation. And I put the oil on, so the Moldavite oil, I opened it, rubbed it here, rubbed it side at temples, back of the neck, top of the head, and rubbed it here and there on my body, breathed it in, and then started the meditation. Blew me away. Then I did healing through the afternoon. So I was doing absent healing. Did the same again, blew me away. At night, I rubbed it all again, went to sleep with a piece of Moldavite on here, I was just blown away. I woke up the next morning like a little kid jumping around saying, it's amazing, it's amazing. Then I gave it to five people who are healers and psychics and said, please try it, blown away. I, I'm even doing better readings than I've ever done before. Healing work is amazing. My God, Mark, this is okay. I'm gonna sell it now. So that's how Moldavite oil came, it's amazing. Then from the Moldavite oil, um, I wanted uh, to do, I, I think what was next was the awakening. And I think it was 2020, 2021 coming up and I wanted um, an oil that would help people wake up. I think the reason why is people were really, really upset because they didn't feel as if they could connect. And they were, there was not everybody, but a lot of people were saying, why can't I feel, why can't I connect? You know, I want to feel this, I want to do that. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I thought, okay, I sat down, meditated and all of a sudden, Again, channel, I saw the Buddha, and I'm thinking, oh, the Buddha, and he looked beautiful. And as I'm looking at the Buddha, I'm thinking, why am I seeing the Buddha? And then I saw the top of his head, and I'm looking at it, I thought, that looks like a, a, a pine cone. And then I spoke to somebody that I care for, and he says, oh yeah, it's a symbol. I said, what do you mean it's a symbol? I never knew that. What, this, his, top is a, his top of a head is a symbol? He says, yeah, guess what it is? I said, no, I don't know. I said, it looks like a pine cone. He says, yeah. And what else looks like a pine cone? I said, I don't know. The pineal gland. Wow. Okay. Representation of the Buddha, the enlightenment, that the, makes sense. So maybe pine. So I went hunting for natural organic pine and I found it. So I made this new oil, filled it with amazing crystals that were for awakening, helping people awaken. And um, was it the, the pine? Yeah, it was a pine. It was the pine, definitely the pine. What, why am I thinking now? What am I thinking of someone else? Oh no, no, the crystals, the crystals were important. That's right. So I had to match the crystals with the awakening. So I put loads and loads of, uh, oh, of course, amethyst. Let me show you. God, my head's everywhere today. So, it's mold of light. Yeah. Where are we? No, we're not there. Hey, where is it? 
seriously? It is, it's this one. Awakening, silly me. There you go, awakening. Look at the bottom, amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. So, um, yeah, but it wasn't just amethyst. I was actually going for, there's in, in, in there, there's not just amethyst, but there's different types of amethyst. So I've got like a Vera Cruz, because I love Vera Cruz. Oh my God, if you could ever get Vera Cruz, guys, it's amazing as a pendant or as a stick. I have some on my website, but it's not cheap. But get it because it's getting less and less. It's amazing and powerful. So I put Vera Cruz in. I also were getting some zebra uh, amethyst, which is called um, a chevron amethyst and lots of different amethysts. And also I was adding some Moldavites in there, some Tektites and other really powerful crystals that were helping with this awakening, okay? Um, so the awakening oil, I got ready and started working with it with uh, two or three people and saying, what do you think? These people had never really done that kind of work. And I said, do you wanna just try it? So they just tried it and said, oh yeah, it makes me feel really light. I feel really good. And then they'd start telling me, oh, I started seeing this and feeling this. And I'm saying, but I don't, didn't think you were into that. And then I realized this stuff is working. This is helping people uh, recognize things that they never saw before, which makes sense. Cause now they're seeing things that they never saw, which means that if somebody wants to see, but they can't, well, this oil is working really, really well. So um, the pine oil I mixed again with the other eight oils and started working with that more and more and more until I realized this is really good stuff. This is working really, really well. People are now saying this is, this is brilliant. So the awakening oil was brilliant. It really helped people awaken and become even more stronger. And not just that, it's really helped with what people are going through right now. And it has this unique energy of clearing away uh, really, uh, really awful things from the body. So it makes sense that if it's clearing a lot of negative stuff away, a lot of really bad, I, I call them uh, emotional blocks or traumas, the awakening oil was really helping at certain uh, points within the brain. And, and a lot of the times the awakening oil I used to say to people is rub on your third eye when you're doing meditation, rub on your third eye when you're trying to connect, rub on your temples, rub on the back of the neck, rub on the top of your head, uh, breathe it in and it will, it will help. And people were saying, yeah, people would do the, the tarot course that I were, what I've got online and saying it works with the tarot course. And I'm like, okay, this is brilliant. So I realized that this, this is a good oil and it's actually be proven to be, uh, it made me cry actually, proven that that oil is, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cry, but it's proven to this day, one of the most powerful oils I've ever worked with for people who are going through a, a traumatic uh, pain right now of what they wish they hadn't done. And I'm gonna make a video on that soon. So that was the awakening oil. Um, heart healing. Uh, well, this this has always been a struggle for me to say. Um, it's healing heartache oil. I wanted to make an oil because people were filled with pain and suffering. So I created an oil uh, and I had help with it with somebody who, as I and them went through pain of heartbreak, we resolved that uh, pain and then we worked on the oil. So then what happened was I wanted this oil to help people get through heartache, pain, suffering with the heart, any kind of heart emotional pain, not just breaking up, but any kind of pain in the heart, which comes through to love, um, not meeting anybody that they want to love. Anyway, it's been a, a really, really great one. And the, the messages that have come back were fantastic. For me, the oil was only one oil at that time, but now, you know, I'm like thinking maybe I'd like to try something else, but this is a great oil right now. And it's, uh, it is selling really, really, really well. And it's not just for heart, it's for everything. It is an absolute mood lifter of any type, clearing of pain and suffering of any tension, any stress, anything like that, what's inside it? Well, it had to be rose, rose. And the oil came with also my rose quartz. I banged them, all the rose quartz in there. And it was rose oil from uh, Bulgaria. Okay, 
Rose, right, there you go. So, that's uh, 4,000 euros in there, just so you know. So Rose Oil from an amazing company. Um, and um, yeah, the best, best company in the world. So it had to be from Bulgaria. So I added this beautiful rose oil and worked with the base oils and then started working with it. Lots of rose quartz. And uh, I think the rest is history. It's amazing oil and people uh, take it everywhere and love it. Um, the next oil I worked with then was the energizing oil. And it, yes, it was the energizing oil. The energizing oil, to me, energizing always reminds me of yellow. Energizing always reminds me of lemons. So it made sense that any lemon would be the, the right. So I chased up which is the best lemon. So I ended up buying... Uh, a couple of liters of this beautiful lemon essential oil. Incredible essential oil. I don't know where it is, but anyway, um, fantastic. Mix the lemon in and a few other different, slightly uh, unusual, uplifting, energetic. Um, <sighs> I go with the smell a lot of the times. It's got to smell right. It's got to feel right. So I added them all in and started working on it. Um, the crystals I would work with, with uh, was uh, lemon quartz. Um, uh, I'd work with uh, lemon beryl. Um, I also liked to add in uh, a nice citrine as well. But all of those really unusual, beautiful, energetic, powerful lion energy to make you feel strong this is brilliant i love rubbing this oil on my heart and then down just a bit lower not to the lower part of my stomach but they call it the solar plexus so anywhere up here and it just energizes me i rub on my temples i breathe it in uh, sometimes rub it on my third eye but more so just the temples the back of the ears is good and then just feel that, breathe it in through my nose, blow out through my mouth. I'm telling you, you feel amazing. A lot of people carry this around in their bag and just put it on through the day. A lot of my clients suggest uh, rubbing it just on here and here and it works amazing. I've tried it and it does uplift you even by just putting a bit on here and here on your wrists. Massive difference to your day. So again, try that, it's amazing. Um, the last oil, which is the uh, purifying oil, was um, an idea that citrus and lots of different kind of citruses, you know, grapefruit, lemon, lime, uh, orange, and lots of others, uh, and also added unusual, very unusual and rare um, incense, um, essen uh, essential oils were were, okay, I'm gonna try this as a blend. So I decided to make uh, um, my first oil for you. I'm gonna show you how to make it, I said. So I made that it's on YouTube somewhere. So I created my first oil for you guys. So if you wanna go back and try and find it, I'm sure you will. I'm sure somebody will post it here. But I showed you the creation of the oil. I got the, uh, the how I, I choose my crystals, how I choose uh, the bottles in, in what I want to use to put in there. And of, of course, it was only a, a little workshop. From then on, I had to work very hard on that bottle and I've continued to work with it every single day up till now. And I've actually added a lot more oils and worked with it more and a lot more crystals. But it was great to watch the beginning of how I started to work with um, one oil and then it ended up being this oil and I put them in little tiny bottles and gifted them away, 50 of them. And then I continued working with it and now I make this as a free bottle. But what I do is to make it free because it costs so much to ship, uh, what I do is I say, okay guys, if you buy these, you'll get this one free. So I gift this away free, I don't sell it, I gift it away free. So I'm just about to create something with three, say, uh, three uh, packets of sage um, with a cleansing, uh, um, a cleansing bottle and uh, a, purif a purifying bottle, which will be that will be given. And um, I think that is it the sacred oil? I think it might be the sacred oil. Anyway, I'm making that because the other day 
like I said before, I work on channeling. I just do things without knowing. And um, I made a video and told everybody that I grabbed some of my tools, some of my oils without even looking and went uh, and helped somebody who was really a very, very, it was very scary for me because what I was looking at was somebody that could just tipple over at any moment and it wasn't good. And I said, if you just give me five minutes and I'm, I never do that, never. But for some reason, I just, I found myself there and the partner of this person says, yes, anything. So I ended up doing the cleansing with the, the, the sage. And then I took these oils out and rubbed them in certain places. And then a little bit of healing at the back of the head. And I, I kid you not, I kid you not, even yesterday at eight o'clock, this person had energy and they were fine after what they had, which was causing them terrible pain and suffering. So what they'd done to themselves, it had manifested into illness and it was awful. And then after that healing session, just for five minutes, but the cleansing of um, of the sage and putting the oils in the certain places, which I'm going to tell everybody when I advertise this um, uh, set, that it works and it does work. And I keep telling everybody it works. So that's how I created the purifying oil, as you all know, because you can see it on Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. Um, and that's it, really. That is how I work with the oils. Uh, the purifying oil, I basically like to use that on my body through the day. And I'll rub some again on my back. I'll rub it on my um, heart and just a little bit below. I'll breathe it in a lot and I'll rub it on the top of my head all over, whether it's here, sides, um, and purifying everywhere where I, I, I can. Purify, purify, purify and just cleanse my body with the purifying oil. And I think that's it really. I think I've done a workshop today. I think we've done, I think we've done, must have done an hour, yeah? I hope you enjoyed this workshop. Uh, the link, will, the links will be below to everything on my website, but this isn't um, an advertisement for my website. This is for you to maybe, maybe create your own oils if you want, why not? So go and find your own oils, create your own oils, uh, create your own incense sticks. Mine is for people who don't have time and they want to really do the work and keep themselves cleansed when they're working or they've got businesses or they've got healing studios. Uh, all the practitioners use all the oils um, in the world and lots and lots of um, uh, people who have yoga centers and all of these places that do this kind of work we do we literally all day long send this out and we have amazing messages, thousands of messages, every single week, month and year, message after message saying that these oils work. Why do they work? Well, they're not just put together for no reason. They're put together because a healer had worked with them, with clients for all of these years. So you can buy from a corporation or you can buy from somebody like myself or somebody you know who works with oils. And I would suggest you do that because they're the ones who are experienced, they're hands-on. And if they work like me with their oils every day, you see my hand prints on them oils because I hold my oils every day, every morning, it's a ritual. And I put, I put my energy work into them. I do energy work in this room. If you watch any of my videos, I, I do healing sessions. When I'm doing healing sessions uh, to everybody who's who's watching the live, that energy fills the room. That energy fills this room. When I do meditation, that energy fills the room. It fills next door. So you've always got a high vibration. That's why people claim, they say all the time, why did I cry when I bought a crystal from you? Why did I cry when I used your oil? Why did I cry when I spread the mist from Lemon House? Why was I in tears? Why was I, because you're working with love. And a friend of mine, Dom said the other day, and it's so true. We, we're, we're taking away the real love through our hands. Chefs can't work anymore. They're stopping them. They're saying, open that tin, open that plastic and pour that in. You're not cutting or prepping anymore. What was it like when you ate your mum's food on a Sunday? You think that was just food? That was a woman who made it with love. Well, what's the difference from me working with these oils with love? Or you're going to a company, a corporation that just kicks them out like they're nothing. There's the difference. They're trying to sever these 
the gifts that we have of our beautiful creation to stop us from that and just make it by machines. Well, not me. And I think that's why, you know, we sell so many because people feel we're loving it. And every single bottle, I bottle. Nobody can bottle. I only bottle my own. Every I've sat here three o'clock in the morning sometimes, whacked, but I'm putting love into it. Okay, I can't do any more. I need to go to bed. But that's my life. That's every single thing I do. It's in my touch through my love because I love them. And I know somebody's going to hold this one day. Somebody's going to use this. And I'm going to put my love into it to make sure that it's got as much pure love, concentration and healing and cleansing and abundance than anything that I've ever worked with because every single crystal means the world to me. Every single thing that you touch and you tell me, you feel better, you never take it off. It's like, I'm like crying. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm, I'm living for. This is what it's about. This is my contribution in my own way. Yeah, I sell things, but I also do it out of love. And you have a choice. You can either buy it from me or you can go and buy one from uh, another shop and support them. And um, and that's lovely too. Everything is fine. I never want you to buy anything from me. In fact, I, I, I'm i like, oh, I hope you can afford, you know, and I try and gift as much as I can because I know it's difficult for a lot of you guys because it's bad times now. I get it. So I try and be as balanced as I can and help and do these workshops and, and share ideas that you might think, okay, that thanks for that, Mark. I'm going to try that and I'm going to say, good. That's what I'm doing this for. So it's not like I'm trying to sell anything. People often say, oh, you're, you're a seller. I'm not a seller. I'm a giver of love. And yeah, you might want to buy some and it's there for you. You are, you don't. It's up to you. But I do my best to say that my life has been a life of experience helping people all over the world and I was called and I was I was brought in planes to countries to heal, you know, royalty to heal the rich and famous. Well, why is that? Why am I asked to go down the road five miles to heal a little boy? Why? Because they heard that I did a good job, something that I'd, I'd done that made a difference. So it makes sense that I say to you, well, it's not just me. It's the tools that I work with. And these are my tools and what I've just shared with you is my life's work. And that's the bottom line, apart from my crystals, these tools, what I've just shared with you is what I've worked with for a decade and a half. And I hope they work for you. Until tomorrow, guys, I'm wishing you a lovely day. And uh, I feel like I've had a cleansing after uh, them two sticks. I feel like I'm like just being cleansed. <laughs> All right. Take care. Love you all.